Hello everyone. In this video, we will delineate water set and stream network using ArcGIS Pro. So what is a water set? A water set refers to a defined geographical area where water flows into a common point. And water set delineation is a common method of locating and delineating the boundaries of water sets. So this flowchart illustrates the process of delineating water set within ArcGIS Pro primarily utilizing tools from the hydrology toolbox that is in ArcGIS. You can follow along with the outline steps provided in this flowchart. So you need digital elevation model for this and you like go through some steps using the ArcGIS toolbox. So we fill the sinks in DEM, we get the flow direction, flow accumulation, stream order, and we add outlet point in our map and then we delineate a water set and we convert the delineated water set which is in raster form to vector uh, for further analysis. So here we start with the steps. Uh, we go to ArcGIS Pro and the first thing we need to do is uh, uh, load digital elevation model for a water set delineation. If you haven't obtained a DEM yet, you can find a link in the description to download one from the USGS website, along with instructions for downloading. So let's proceed to load the DEM. So for this, I go to View, Catalog Pane. I need to connect my folder in which I have the DEM file. So I go to Folders, Add Folder Connection and I go to data. So I have saved this project inside what is the delineation folder that I'm working on. And inside the data, I have this digital elevation model raster file in TIFF format. So I connect this folder and I load my DEM here. So you see here the DEM is loaded. Initially, we need to address small imperfections in the DEM by employing the sink filling technique, which smoothens the surface raster. So for this, I go to geoprocessing, toolboxes, spatial analyst tools, hydrology, and we go to fill. The input raster is the DEM and the output, you can name it anything and make sure to keep inside the folder that you're saving everything. So you run. Now we have the filled DEM. So the next step would be calculating the flow direction getting the flow direction map. So we go to flow direction. Our input surface raster would be the fill DEM and the output would be the flow direction. You can name anything which is appropriate for you and then run again. So this flow direction raster, it illustrates the direction of flow from each cell to the adjacent cell. So here we can see if we zoom in. Our third step would be to estimate flow accumulation. So the input flow direction raster, so flow direction, and the output accumulation raster is flow accumulation. We run this. So what this flow accumulation tool does is to create is that it creates a raster of accumulated flow into each cell. So we will have accumulated flow in each of our cells here. So to better visualize the stream order, we need to first uh, employ a conditional statement. So this involves navigating to um, spatial analyst tools. Here we are inside this. 
and we go to map algebra and raster calculator. So here we specify the condition that if the flow accumulation exceeds or equals 500, it indicates a stream. Otherwise, it remains transparent as each cell in the flow accumulation raster holds a pixel value. So we put the conditional statement if flow accumulation is greater than or equals to 500, we get stream stream for that so we run this now we see here different orders of streams here we can see a single color so we have not specified the order of stream yet so to do that, we go back again to the hydrology tool and we go to stream order. And the input stream raster would be the raster that you had the conditional statement at. So the raster we just created and the input flow direction raster is the flow direction raster that you created earlier. And then we get the stream order and run. So now we have the stream order map. So what this map tells is these are the first order streams. They mix in the second order. They turn into second order and then the second order to the third. And then the third mixes to the fourth and then fifth. And finally it drains to the sixth order stream. So now we have this stream order map. Next, what we do is we incorporate pore points or outlet points into the flow accumulation data, or we incorporate the pore points into this map. For that, we need to create a save file with point features. So let's go back to our catalog pane. I want to create a save file inside my data folder so that it gets directly saved in there. So I go to data, I right click on that, new, save file. So it's inside the data folder that I already have. And this would be the PowerPoint. And we need to create a point save file. So point here. And then the coordinate system would be the same as of the current map, and then we run. So we see here, we already have created a poor point save file. So now we need to specify where our poor point is. So you can either delineate a water set. So for generating a water set, you need to have your point around in the sixth order so that we know all the water from these parts drains into, like at last drains into this, or you can delineate water set for, delineate sub water sets, like having some outlet points here. But for this uh, example, I will delineate a water set in the sixth stream order. So, what we do is I go to pour, I click on pour point, sorry. And then in edit, I click on create, then pour point. And now I have this edit feature there. So I zoom in and I specify this as my pour point. And then I click okay. Yeah, our poor point is now created. So we go to point and we go to attribute table and we have our poor point. So we close our attribute table and having identified 
the outlet point for our water set. Now we proceed to delineate the water set using the water set tool. So we again go back to view, geoprocessing, hydrology, and water set tool. Our input here would be the flow direction specifies in the above line itself and the input pore point data. So the save file that we just created and the field would be ID. So output raster would be what is it flow we run. If you uncheck everything, if you uncheck everything, now you can see your delineated water set. So inside this, I also want to see my stream order. I'll place this above this. So this is my stream order and my like all the water from all these streams, they drain in this outlet point. So that is the gist of what is the delineation. So now we convert our raster to polygon for what you said and raster to polyline for stream. So we go to geoprocessing again and we find here raster to polygon. Inside the conversion tool and from raster, raster to polygon. So our input raster would be the water set. And I would like to name this as water set fully run. So now we have the save file for our water set. And we do the same for stream order. We go back, raster to polyline. Input transfer would be stream order. And stream poly and run. Now we want to clip our stream polyline in our water set only. So we go back, we use clip tool from the analysis tool and extract and clip. And the input feature would be stream polyline and the clip features would be water set poly. So we want to clip it in the water set boundary and we run. Now we have our water set and our stream order map delineated and clipped into the water set boundary. So we can visualize the stream order from here, take symbology, and we can change this primary symbology to unique values. And the values will be based on the grid code. So for better visualization, we use this. So here we can see our first order stream strains to the second and third and fourth, fifth, and finally to the outlet. So this is how you can delineate your water set and stream network for your water set. Hope you liked it. Thank you.